Well, now that the FDA has banned silicone breast implants, I better call the doctor and have them removed. Wait! Stop what you're doing! Why? These are no good for me. <laughs> That's what you think. But did you know you could be throwing away hours of fun? But I can't keep these. Silicone isn't safe. No, not silicone. Silicone. <laughs> yes, like silly putty, silicone is the breast you can play with. <laughs> Take it on the job to relieve stress. <laughs> Copy your favorite comic strip. They're great fun at birthday parties. You can even make them do tricks. Silicone comes in three sizes, bouncy, meaty, and grandma. Show crossfire? 
Oh, yeah, honey, I love me some Crossfire. I watch that show every night. <laughs> I just wish she'd get that crossfire off my front lawn. <laughs> Honey, that man ain't nothing but David Duke without the tummy tuck. <laughs> you put that cracker in office and come Christmas, there's going to be a lot more than Tinsel hanging off the White House tree. <laughs> I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. No, you never. As many competitors as they have, it's going to be hard for anybody to get into office now because of the fine job that Mr. George Herbert Walker Bush is doing. That's right, honey. Him and Barbara Bush, the first lady. <laughs> first grand lady is more like it. Now, I knew Bush was tight with Uncle Sam, but he didn't have to up and marry him. Honey, the only thing in worse shape than this economy is her booty. That butt hangs so low it sweeps up after itself. <laughs> and that Vice President Quayle, that Vice President Quayle is so dumb, he need a tutor to read Bush's lips. <laughs> but I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. No, you have mm -mm -mm. That's right, honey. Come November, ain't no doubt who Miss Benita's gonna vote for. <laughs> That's right, honey. Miss Benita gonna write in a vote for Miss Jenkins, honey. Cause Miss Jenkins is like a mama to me, honey. I love me some Miss Jenkins. <laughs> no, nobody better say nothing bad about Miss Jenkins, honey. Nobody. That's right. Right, Miss Jenkins is gonna put some excitement back in the White House. <laughs> Just don't let her use the bathroom in the Oval Office. <laughs> Women will stink it up so bad they'll put that wall back up in Germany. <laughs> but I ain't wanna gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. You in the market for a stereo VCR big screen TV? Well, what you waiting on? Come on down here and make yourself a deal before my medication wears off. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm on medication. Take a look at this here. A Hitachi 45-inch big screen TV complete with remote control and Dolby speakers. Now, what do you think something like this go for? $5,000? No. Nope. $1,000? Uh-uh. Try a $1.50. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How can we do it? I just told you. I'm crazy. So come on down and meet some of my crazy salespeople. Tell them what we got, Lenny. We have these beautiful JVC amplifiers on sale today. Meat pie. So you might want to come down because I can give you one heck of a rabbit deal. So be sure to ask for me, Lenny. Hope to see you. Cock a gooty. <laughs> trade-ins. We'll take anything. Hey, will you take this bottle? Sure. Grab yourself a VCR. <laughs> he, made, he made himself a good deal. Now let me introduce you to our lovely cashier. Go ahead. Tell me how many stereos we sold this week. 642, definitely 642. Oh, three o'clock, Judge Wapner's on Doug Llewellyn, Doug Llewellyn, Doug Llewellyn. <laughs> Thank you, Rain Woman. Hey, man, you got no money? Pay for later. We've been serving the community since 19... Last Friday. Oh, yes. I, I, I. You know, people always come up to me. They say, Crazy Tom. I say, what? They say, how can you sell all that high-quality merchandise at such a low, low price and still make a profit? I don't. <laughs> I'm crazy. Crazy Tom's going out of my mind sale. Open seven days a week, midnight to 6 a.m. Crazy Tom's, we're splashing prices.
be your tour guide for the Native American art exhibit. The rules are as follows. Pay attention because I only say things once, so don't be talking while I'm talking. Uh, better yet, just don't say nothing. Now, we will get started as soon as the rest of us get here. I'm so sorry. I was just admiring a beautiful piece of work back there. Did you realize that the Cherokee Indians uh, never uh, even... Look, I'm sure you came in with a wealth of information to share with us today. But uh, if you don't mind, your trip to Little Bighorn is not on my schedule. Uh, can we move right along? Uh, this was done in 1894 by the artist Run and Feather. You know, actually, I'm very well acquainted with her work. She didn't pick up a paintbrush until she was 57 years oh, old. working along. Uh, now, if you feel that you can enrich the lives of this tour group so much, you can just go back downstairs and fill out an application. Okay, can we please move on? Whoa, what's this? Are you blind? It's a bow and arrow. <laughs> Just taking, just answer the question. I, I was just taking pictures for my wife. Me and my wife, you know, we met at a museum. Oh, oh that is beautiful and romantic. And I'm sure that Chuck Willoughby would be very touched to hear your story. But since we don't care about you or your wife, do you care to join us on the tour? <laughs> oh, no, you don't come in here with that. Does this look like your home? Do you see rats and roaches and an eviction sign somewhere? <laughs> I didn't think so. Come in here like Buffy and Joe down a project. <laughs> there you go. I'm so sorry. They're usually very well-behaved children. They're just uh -huh. a little mischievous, uh -huh. like their mom. Uh -huh. uh, well, that's, that is so hard, Mom, that it makes me want to run out and get pregnant and go through nine hours a label just so I can know what you're talking about. But um, if your little angels are so well behaved, why come they running around here like they're at a special at Kmart or something? <laughs> oh my God. Come on, children. Let's get out of here. I don't even want you around somebody with such a funky attitude. Oh no, because I will snatch you and your kids. <laughs> hey. Can, can, can we get on with this? Excuse me. But for your information, my name is not Hey. If you can read the name text, says LaShawn. If you have a problem with that, see my supervisor. And if you're looking for some Hey, I suggest you go check the stable. Look at this artwork. The texture is just so lifelike. Wow, it's amazing how they make this in such detail. And just what are you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get a better feel of the texture. This is an incredible piece of work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool and everything. I'm sure that scientists from all over the world are just dying to come over here and do research on your incredible sense of touch. But um, <laughs> as far as our policy goes here, uh, nice to look at, nice to hold. If you break it, consider it so. <laughs> now, on the next part of the tour, you're going to be seeing some hope in Native American art, um, basic pottery, everyday hunting tools, religious artifacts, all from sacred burial grounds that are approximately 400 years old. Wow. That's great. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Me neither. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have to because it's time for my lunch break. <laughs> and uh, if you care to wait, I'll be back in 35 minutes. And if not, have a nice day. How is it going, Dr. Ito? 
Wonderful. Another few days collecting data, and we'll have the cure for cancer. Something's showing up on the radar. Looks like it's right outside the ship. Viewing screen. First, to welcome you aboard. Thank you, son. It's a nice mustache you got there. Had one like it myself. Then one day I put my cigar in backwards and boom! My lip went up like a tender box. But I don't smoke. None of us do. And I'm sure you will find that our ship is the safest outpost in the galaxy. That's what I said when I inspected the Titanic. But I showed them different. Unsinkable, my good eye. What's going on over here, Princess Leia? It is a refrigeration experiment. We're freezing these produce with liquid nitrogen. Well, that's fine and dandy. But remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Let me show you something. Let's just say you're getting ready to freeze some veggies. And you mistake your hand for a stock of celery. Then you go to hang your autograph picture of Chewbacca. And the next thing you know... The Ice Man Comet! <laughs> Gee, that demonstration left me a little parched. over the border. Hey, you! Come on out and show me your green card! Oh, my God! One of them is missing! Hmm. I wonder where I could be. seats don't have safety belts. We don't need them. This ship is perfectly safe. I beg to differ, Buck Rogers. What if one of your fellow astronauts is a frustrated soprano? He's in the shower. He breaks into a high note from Figaro. self-destruct sequencer? When was the last time you had that baby tested? You know, a gadget like that can be handy, but it can also lead to a very unpleasant demise. Let's just say you're sleepwalking one night. And your dream when Darth Vader just told you he's your father. Naturally, you're completely suicidal. And you program the computer to start the final count. Like so. The station will self destruct in 20 seconds. You idiot! Everyone! Into the shuttle! 
Please remain calm. He is a fire marshal. Thank you, Hal. You see, Hal knows that all I have to do is use a main computer override key. Now, if I can only remember which one it is. Not that one. Wrong again. Oh, yeah. This is it. They can put a man on that moon, but they can't protect us from ourselves. Oh. Feels good to have the sun on my face. Of course, I'd rather have my face on the sun. Hey, let me show you something! From First Priority Records, performing Poor Georgie, MC Light. Drugs and such, but once in a while. 